Hey, welcome back. I have another unboxing to do, and this time here, it is a box of Warriors of Chaos. This is the original, like, 2001, 2002-ish release box. Um, and these models came out around that time to replace what had been out in Plastic 5th Ed. And I think these are one of my favorite models in the Warhammer Fantasy range. Um, seeing them in video games over the past uh, nearly 20 years. I think the first time I saw one in a video game was Mark of Chaos. They've just always stood out that they are so much better looking than the period really um, often gave us. Or at least they're not better looking, but they held up better. Um, and really fit into multiple generations of Warhammer releases. I just think that they really nailed what a Chaos Warrior should look like, and even looking at the stuff that's come out for Age of Sigmar, um, it's bigger and it's got more dynamic posing, but really the core aesthetic they came up with here is not really changed in any way. I mean, I think that they just basically made the perfect Chaos Warrior release uh, back in, I think it was 6th edition, with these guys. And even though I'm not planning to do a Chaos Warriors army um, anytime soon, or at all, really. These guys here are just really fun to paint. <coughs> I haven't painted any in years and just figured that um, I'm going to grab these guys. I saw them at a decent price. Um, I bought a few boxes, basically, off a guy. And I was really happy with the prices I got. It started off, I was just buying some skinks for my son. He wants to start painting and maybe playing. And he really likes dinosaurs and lizards. And it sort of just like snowballed from there, looking at the other stuff he had. And I was really happy with what I paid for these. Um, yeah. It's also a really nice box. I love this period's box art. I love the, uh, the style of box. You know, it's just everything about this is cool. And here they are. Ranked up. And again, like I said, they're, um... They're dated in the sense that, yes, they're very monoposy, um, but it works for these guys, I think. This is one of the few cases where monopose models with very few parts to mix and match really works. Because these are just big, hulking monsters of men who just, like, march forward killing. So I think it works to have them like this. And again, it's why I think these models still look really good. Even today, in 2022, you know, as Age of Sigmar uh, minis up against all those models. Because they were really well sculpted. GW put the time in to really, to really think through what these guys should look like. So this box had 12 warriors. Um, <clears throat> which is why I think it was 6th edition these came out in. I think it was like 2001-ish. And it's because back then you could have ranks that were 4 wide. And because these guys were on 25 millimeter bases versus the uh, 20 millimeter squares, they were just a very imposing unit, even at four wide. I think these guys here, they did five, um, which is a little annoying because this this is a bit of a false advertising moment. Um, it's five wide, eh? Yeah, I can, I can count. Five wide. It just means that in the back... Um, this back rank doesn't actually exist, which some hobbyists at the time, younger ones especially, who weren't really aware of the risk of GW doing stuff like this, probably might not have thought anything of it and thought there might have been 15 in here. Especially because back then you got a lot of box sets with GW that were like 16 models, 19 models. Um, 15 really wouldn't have been weird per se. So a little scummy to do it this way. I think they should have just ranked them up four wide, but... Whatever. Um, they're still great models. And there's your how to paint that they always included. Um, you know, back when it was a very basic how to paint. They seldom had all the colors you needed. But, you know, it's there. And you could probably do something pretty close to that with this. Getting into the box. You get a lot of sprues. Um, and pieces falling out square bases. Um, actually, <clears throat> this tells me this would have been one of the last boxes made 
because when they were putting these out, I'm positive it was still sprues of bases. They were all stuck together. Um, they didn't start bagging until basically this stuff was going away, this box style. So you get, this here is a command sprue um, and accessories. So you get shields, you get banners, uh, you get some stuff. This is for a champion, some weapons over here. Really great stuff. I mean, they all, it all just looks nice. Sword to go on someone's back. Um, yeah, you can see how they fit together. Arms molded onto the shields. And these are awesome shields. I can't stress how much I love everything about Chaos Warriors of that time. You're going to get some of these. Um, here's two of them. And this is where you get the majority of your extra bits, like your weapons and heads. Um, horn, so your musician. And the banner arm is up top. Nice, cool um, helmets. Lots of horns and stuff. Little tiny extras. I'm not sure what this is. Just a second while I look closer. Some sort of top knot, it looks like. Um, yeah. Cool weapons. Left and right arm weapons, because you could do uh, two-hand weapons with these guys. Yeah, some of these are the uh, the left hands, so you could do the two-hand weapons. Oh, there's another one of those. And then you get three of these. This is where you get your bodies. And, yeah, they're just really nice. Some basic uh, shields on here, too. So you get lots of shields in here, which is nice. I like having lots of shield bits and stuff. And those really iconic Chaos Warrior uh, furred capes. Back around 2007, I think, I did a Chaos Warrior uh, Halloween costume. And getting a cape like this was a big part of it. I came across that. <laughs> and I had a couple of other things that just... It was a pretty sweet costume for, like, pretty much no budget and just cobbled together. And I had a lot of fun with it. If I could ever find pictures of it, I would share it. I just don't think pictures of me at that period really exist anymore that are easy to find. I just kind of kind of come across things like that at random at times. I find, like, an old uh, big SD card or something. Or, like, a CD that's just filled with um, pictures that we burned on. Yeah, these are these are great. Um, the big heavy boots, the gloves that they have on are big and heavy. Uh, you see it up here. Actually, guess they guess these guys don't have gloves on. I thought they did. Maybe it's on the weapon sprue. Yeah, the weapon sprue shows it better. Those big heavy gloves they wore. Yeah. Um, one reason I wanted to show this off too. This is one last sprue of um, more weapons and such. Some extra heads and bits and bobs to go with them all. Lots of cool little skulls. Some of these things might make it into my Night Lord's army just as um, decorations. That's the other thing too. Fantasy Chaos and 40k Chaos. 40k Chaos. They really are pretty interchangeable in a lot of parts. <coughs> in fact, my... Um, my Trader Guard. Tons of pieces from the uh, Fantasy range in there. Just because they really do uh, add a lot of cool details and they really fit. So anyways, the reason I thought it would be cool to go through this is that I'm guessing there's a new Age of Sigmar book for Chaos coming out soon. Chaos Legionaries or something. I don't really follow uh, Age of Sigmar too much, but I won't be surprised if this stuff finally starts disappearing. Um, you know, it's had a 20 year run at least, and it is due for a real refresh, but it's going to be a shame because these are great. Um, they look really nice still. So what do you guys think of the Warriors of Chaos from that period? Do you think they still stand up like I do? I mean, I think these are great, but some people might disagree and like, what is wrong? Oh, what is wrong with them? If so, like, you know, what do you see that's a problem that needs to be, um, you know, fixed if they were going to do a new range of these to replace them. Because I don't think the actual 
style is going to change. I just think it's going to be the, 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 the box set. You know, the, the, the actual physical miniatures are going to be gone and replaced with something new. So what can GW do, do that would improve these? And do you think that there's a way they can make them for Age of Sigmar and they'd still be good for ranking up in fantasy? We have to think about that still with the uh, old world coming. GW must be planning every box set to be, you know, pulling double duty where possible. And unless they do a radical design change on the Warriors of Chaos, I still think that they're going to be usable in fantasy. It'll just be down to whether or not um, you can actually rank them up and such. Anyways, that's the video, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.